Hello everybody and welcome back to my ongoing run through every single episode of Game of Thrones. My name is Sean O'Connell and I'm the managing director here at Cinema Blend. I'm also the co-host of a podcast called Real Blend, R-E-E-L. B-L-E-N-D, and if you like this type of analysis and commentary about pop culture and movies and television and all fun things, you're going to want to go over there and give that podcast a listen. But for right now, you guys are sitting here waiting for the next reaction to Game of Thrones and the way that episode 6 of season 4 ended with Tyrion on trial and demanding a uh, trial by combat. Couldn't wait to get to 7, so we're going to dive right into it. This one's called Mockingbird. Follow along with me as we go through all of these episodes by going down, hitting the subscribe button, turning on your notifications, jumping into the comments and weighing in on how we're doing, especially how brilliant my editors are. So right now, season four, episode seven, Mockingbird, which I'm going to guess has nothing to do with the Mockingjay pin that Tywin Lannister currently wears. I know it's not the Mockingjay pin. Let's find out who the Mockingbird is. I survived one trial by combat, even though you weren't there to save me. I can't save you this time either. Even if you lose, imagine the look on father's face when you fall. <laughs> Our family name snuffed out with a single swing of the sword. It is tempting. <laughs> <laughs> Bronn! Have Bronn fight for you! He's a great fighter! Bronn fought for me once, he'll do it again. There you go! Who does Cersei plan on naming as a champion? Sir Gregor. Sir Gregor. Welcome to the capital. Thank you for riding here so quickly. Who am I fighting? Does it matter? Well, that'll be interesting for Oberyn, because he's been waiting for this dude for a long time. You shouldn't be sitting out here like this. Where else to sit? So why go on? Habit. Nothing could be worse than this. Maybe nothing is worse than this. Nothing isn't better or worse than anything. Nothing is just nothing. So goth. She's in her goth phase. Can I have a drink? Dying is thirsty work. <sighs> Wish it were wine. So do I. Oh. That's where the heart is. That's how you kill a man. There's a price on your head. You were Yoren's prisoners when he was taking me to the wall. He told me he'd f me bloody with a stick. This day's really not working out the way you planned. <laughs> he on your little list. He can't be. I don't know his name. Well, then I don't either. What's your name? Rouge. Thank you. <laughs> oh, are ya? You're learning. Muncie's army was closing in on Craster's keep when we left. We need to prepare. We've been preparing. We should seal the tunnel. Seal the tunnel? Plug it with rocks and ice, flood it and let it freeze. And how would we range north? We wouldn't. First build a Yawick. Lord Snow here recommends sealing the tunnel. Do you agree with him? No. I sent for you days ago. I've been a bit busy. Doing what? I'm to wed Lollis Stokeworth. Why did you bother to come here? You once said, if anyone ever asked me to sell you out, you'd double their price. The two wives you want, all two castles. If you want me to kill the mountain for you, it better be a damn big castle. I'm a bit short on castles at the moment, but I can offer you gold in gratitude. I'm sorry it has to be this way. Why are you sorry? Because you're an evil bastard with no conscience and no heart. That's what I liked about you in the first place. What will you do? I suppose I'll have to kill the mountain myself. Yeah. First Shay, now Bronn. Came to ask a favor. I only have two talents in this world, war and women. There are thousands in Marine you can pursue. There's only one, and she does not want me. Send me to kill your enemies. Any enemy, anywhere. Let me do what I do best. Very well. Do what you do best. Take off your clothes. I thank God every day for bringing you to us. And Stannis to you. He wants to bring Shireen with us. I think that would be ill-advised. I understand how you feel. <laughs> That is impossible. Why? You don't need my help, but I will need yours soon. When we set sail, your daughter must be with us. Jorah the Andal. Talisi. You're here early. Later than some. You don't approve. It's not a question of approval, it's a question of trust. You neither approve nor trust. Why would I? The man's a sellsword. 
That's why I've sent him and the second sons to retake Yunkai. Without you there to rule, Khaleesi, I fear the masters will simply bide their time, wait for the invaders to leave. That is why I've ordered Dario to execute every master in Yunkai. Hmm. I wouldn't be here to help you if Ned Stark had done to me what you want to do to the masters of Yunkai. The man who came to me the other day about burying his father, he will accompany the second sons and serve as my ambassador to Yunkai. He will explain the choice they have before them. They can live in my new world, or they can die in their old one. We'll go and catch Dario before he leaves. Tell him I changed my mind. I get that she's powerful in some spots, no. but she's not... She doesn't have a grip on leadership yet. Tell him you changed my mind. You say your brother gave you that sword. My brother gave me this. Pressed me to the fire like I was a nice juicy mutton chop. Why? Thought I stole one of his toys. I didn't steal it. I was just playing with it. The pain was bad. The smell was worse. But the worst thing was that it was my brother who did it. I love that when they cast these folks, they're all capable of great dramatic scenes. Like the Hound looks like the Hound, and he's an intimidating presence. But then he can sell a scene like this. Can I get you anything else? Mm -hmm. No, this will do nicely, thank you. Kidney pie is wonderful. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Hey, hot pie. What would you use these parts? We're looking for someone. Someone in particular? Maybe they came in here. A lot of people come in here. I mean, just the other day we had seven people. Girl, pie. tall, red hair, very pretty. Her name is Sansa Stark, but she may be using a different name. No, I ain't seen anyone like that. Oh, there was all traitors. <coughs> hot pie. Don't need no traitors in here. I pledged my life to their mother, Captain Stark. You can tell her, hot pie. You can tell her! My lady. My lord. Can I have a word? You seem like a proper lady. You know, someone who could be trusted. Never met no Sansa Stark. But I know her sister, Arya. She was all dressed up as a boy, going by the name Ari. And the brotherhood took us prisoner. They, they were going to sell Arya to her mother at River Run, along with another prisoner. Foul mouth and a face like a half burnt ham. The hound. If you find her, could you give her this? You should like the last one I gave her, but well, this one turned out better. Oh, hot pie, you're adorable. Brotherhood isn't going to River Run. We'll take her to the Eyrie, my lady. Why the Eyrie? Her aunt, Lysa Arryn, Captain Stark's sister. You sure about this? Not bad, Pod. Not bad. We met, you and I, many years ago. You had just been born. Our father brought me and my sister Elia with him on a visit to Casterly Rock. The whole way from Dorn, all anyone talked about was the monster that had been born to Tywin Lannister. <laughs> when we met your sister, she promised she would show you to us. Every day we would ask, every day she would say, soon. Then she and your brother took us to your nursery, and she unveiled the freak. Your head was a bit large, your arms and legs were a bit small, but no claw. Hmm. We didn't try to hide our disappointment. That's not a monster, I told Cersei. That's just a baby. Hmm. And she said he killed my mother. And she pinched your little cock so hard I thought she might pull it off until your brother made her stop. It doesn't matter, she told us. Everyone says he will die soon. I hope they are right. He should not have lived this long. Sooner or later, Cersei always gets what she wants. And what about what I want? Justice for my sister. You're and gonna Richard. fight the, mo the mountain? If you want justice, you've come to the wrong place. No. I disagree. He can fight the mountain. I want to bring those who have wronged me to justice. I will begin with Sir Gregor Clegane. I will be your champion. <sighs> what are you doing? I'm building my home, Winterfell. When will you go back? Probably never. My family doesn't live there anymore, and someone burned it down. Oh, Sansa, your life is awful. Oh. <laughs> it's terrible. Let's put a moon door in your Winterfell. All right. It can go in here, in this big be palace. Be careful. You've ruined it. Now I'm going to have to rebuild the whole I thing. I did ruin it. You did. <laughs> oh! Sansa! I shouldn't have done that. No, his mother should have. Why did you really kill Joffrey? I loved your mother more than you could ever know. Given the opportunity, what do we do to those who've hurt the ones we love? You're more beautiful than she ever was. Ugh. Lord Baelish. Call me Peter. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh no, that that crackpot. 
I've seen you do that. Oh. Oh no, you're gonna fly, Sansa. I know what you did. I I'm so sorry, Aunt Lysa. I never should have hit Robin. I know it. I promise it won't happen. Be coy with me, you little whore. You kissed him. You kissed Peter. You didn't. You don't understand. I saw you. You can't lie to me because I saw it with my own eyes. He kissed me. I pulled a liar. <laughs> he is mine. Let her go. <laughs> He's going to push her. My sweet, <laughs> silly wife. I have only loved one woman. Only one. Cat. My entire life. <laughs> Your sister. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fairly predictable thrones. Fairly predictable. I kind of saw that coming. <laughs> uh, and Baelish, obviously, is going to kill whoever he wants to kill if it furthers his agenda um i did not see him necessarily kissing sansa um but i guess she looks enough like lady cat that uh he's super turned on and listen anytime i get robin of arian behaving like robin of arian great battle great episode great episode uh the, the storyline i care most about in this is um oberon go agreeing to fight the mountain because that's a battle I need to see. There was a great scene between Bronn and Tyrion to show how far their friendship has come, but the fact that that friendship even has its limits. And Bronn speaks logic. I mean, he he's right. Why am I going to put my life on the line against the mountain? Maybe I'll beat him, but maybe I won't. And life is pretty good here. I'm getting fat and happy in King's Landing, and now I'm going to have a wife. But beautiful scene, beautifully played. These scripts, the scripts are great. This season has been fantastic. Uh, Oberyn comes and visits Tyrion, tells this great backstory about the time that as a child he went and visited uh, the Lannisters and saw baby Tyrion and how Cersei, essentially, uh, we learn that is Cersei's hated Tyrion from day one, from the moment that uh, he was born because uh, their mother died in the process of delivering Tyrion. Hot Pie returns to the story and is able to at least uh, push the rescue party toward the Eyrie. So we'll see Brienne and Podrick uh, working their way to the Eyrie. They may uh, get there in time to see Sansa and Arya, uh, but the way that this show sort of operates, people get close enough! And then something happens where they get diverted, right? Like, that's a lot of Jon Snow. That's a lot of um, Bran. It's mostly the Starks. Whenever the Starks sort of get really close to being able to reunite with somebody who's super important to them or someone who can help them, uh, fate intervenes. So we'll find out what happens with that. Jon's back at the wall, promising uh, that Mance is very, very close. Comes up with a scheme to freeze the tunnel, which sounds like a pretty good idea to me, but... People don't listen to Jon Snow. Everyone thinks Jon Snow doesn't know anything. And for the most part, they're right. Uh, Jon can be a frustrating character from that perspective in that you never really know whether he's right or wrong. And sometimes he can be on a mission or quest that takes a very long time to play out. And by the time we get to the end of it, he's either wrong or he's not quite the misunderstood hero that everyone sort of wants him to be. I'm going to say the same thing about Danny's subplot. Listen, I'm not going to harp on Danny, um, but... Her and Dario, and then sending Dario away uh, to take over the people in um, the Yunkai. I just don't care. I, d I just don't care. I don't care yet about this. And Jorah distrusts Dario, and Dario has a crush on Danny, and it's it's now to the point where when we get to those subplots, I kind of you know start to anticipate getting to the next story because I'm way more interested in either what's going on north of the wall and that threat. Uh, we didn't see Bran, haven't seen Bran and Hodor and, and that traveling party for a while. I kind of want to see what's going on with them. The diversions with Danny and, and her effort to free the slaves and rule, it's not hooking me yet. It isn't. In an otherwise outstanding season. Um, and then we get some great stuff between Arya and the Hound. Arya going through her goth phase. 
uh, speculating about death, is able to now casually, comfortably kill a man. And though the Hound was on her vengeance list uh, a while back, a couple episodes back when she was um, trying to go to sleep, she agrees to help the Hound. And and again, when we get to the Hound, I, I commented on this in the track, but it, it's great that Thrones has landed on these actors who, when they need them to step up and take on some dramatic work, they're fully capable. And to me, the the the, the be-all and end-all when it comes to that perspective is uh, Tyrion Lannister and Peter Dinklage. He's tremendous. And so I, I think, looking at the thumbnail for the next episode that we get, uh, it says the mountain and the viper. And the thumbnail shows the mountain fighting Oberyn. So I'm not going to want to wait very long for that one. <laughs> I'm going right to it. So tag along with me. We're not going to want to miss that. You don't want to miss my reaction to that. So be sure to hit subscribe, turn on your notifications, and keep up with everything that we're doing here at Cinema Blend.